iPad Pro. This is the 12.9 inch larger, the largest model here. And this is the mount. Here's how I've been rocking with the uh, Pro. I have it on this Gorilla Pod. And then the Gorilla Pod is screwed on here to this mount. And I could release it. This is a Gorilla Pod's version of an Arca Swiss. So I can just undo this here and release, separate. And this is how I was rocking and rolling with the iPad Pro. It, it has a, a case around on the edge. And then this is a matte, paper matte screen. Here's the back of it. And then I'll, I'll remove this mount. So this is the plate of the Joby, the Gorillapod plate. And Griff, graffiti, graffiti noodle. There's different versions of this one, different widths. And this is the large one, and this fits that iPad that you just saw. But I was wondering if there's other solutions that, I, so far this is the best solution. And I've done pr uh, previous videos where I was trying out different mounts that w could be better for the larger iPad for what I use it for. And now I'm looking into Ulanzi. This is the Ulanzi U-Pad 3, the tablet clamp. I just bought it. So I'm gonna see if this is a better uh, tool than this graffiti noodle that I've been using for years. I think over five years by now at least that I've been using this setup. So I'm unboxing this for the first time. I've never seen this. Here we go. Like the material, it already feels premium. Quarter 20, cold shoe, side. Oh, this is supposed to be Arca Swiss compatible and on the bottom. So here's an Arca Swiss head. Let's see if how compatible it is. So I could put this on another tripod if I wanted to. Okay, the top is Arca Swiss. This whole side here is Arca Swiss, it should be. Yep, there you go. Cool. Is that enough for this? Obviously you can't go sideways like you can with the noodle here. Okay, I locked that. I, I just locked this one and then let me tighten this top. Okay, so I tightened everything down and this seems, wow, it's very, I like how it, how thin it is to the iPad. And yeah, there's some room here for this, for these grips. By putting it on this way, I do lose the magnets that are up here because I, I do have the Apple Pencil and the Apple Pencil sticks on over here. So I guess I lose that feature. But does it stand up? Oh, cool. It stands up on its own. All right, look at that. I'm able to still mount this, mount this on like this. So I sort of like this as a travel solution. I might still use my graffiti noodle here because I, I did I did like it when it gripped it gripped on the corners like ver, um, diagonally like this. This one I'm only going to use when I do tethered shooting, but I'm, I'm glad that it works and it looks pretty sturdy and it's versatile. It's exactly what I was looking for.